guys, what's up? And welcome to the video. This is gonna be a little bit different from what we normally do. As you can see, I, I have a guest with me today and, and uh, we, look, we look pretty professional here. But this is going to be, I would say, a start of some new type of videos we wanna to try to put together in the tech space. Um, tech bros, kind of like podcast style where we're just gonna, we're gonna talk to each other. Um, David is the guest today and I mean, well, well permanent guest, I should say. So family member, but we have a pretty long history of friendship with each other. And, um, there are certain circumstances in life that have allowed us to finally start making some content like this. We'll get into it, but this is obviously going to be our introductory episode, um, in a new type of video and, and, and direction for the channel, which we're, we're both pretty excited about. Because it's, it's affecting also the not only the podcast, but also the reviews and any other kind of yeah. content we have. It's, yeah, even yeah, though yeah. we're still doing the same thing, it's going to look very different. It's going to feel very different. Yeah. So I'm excited about no, that. No, it's going yeah. to be a lot of fun. So we obviously have been making tech reviews for a long time, but to, like predominantly it's been me that's been the face of the channel um, for reasons that like we'll dive into later on in the podcast episode. But um, well, let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. It's been... Later in the podcast episode means right now, yeah. basically. Because, um, I mean, we've been doing videos since 20... 2016, I think. 16. Yeah, yeah. We've been making videos since 16. Yeah. Those those first videos... We don't talk about those. Are cringe. Yeah. That's, Please. Uh, it stays don't ever the go archive, back and watch it. <laughs> which you can just go back can in we, the channel. I was about to say, we need, to, we need to permanently archive those videos because those videos are... Yeah. <laughs> Those videos are really bad. We've come a long way. Yeah. We've come a yeah. long way. Even myself, right? Like a, a lot of times, like if I show like people our videos, they're like, oh, you're like super comfortable in front of the camera and stuff like that. Trust me. Like, I'm like, trust it wasn't me, like bro. <laughs> trust me, bro. It was not, it was not like that at the beginning. At the beginning, so many questions. You're so nervous all the time. It's wild. Even right now, like this is a new type of content for us. So like even the intro. Yeah. And like introducing you and stuff like that. I'm like, how do we, what do we do here? Like it's this new. is, yeah. yeah, I'm not sitting in front of the table yeah. just staring at one camera. Now there's three cameras and all sorts of lighting and stuff like that around me too. So, but it's fun. Yeah. And I mean, just, to, just to give context. You know, the channel's called The Tech Bros. That implies multiple people. Yeah. Even our even our uh, our channel logo, right? Yeah. It's like a digital... Yeah, that's me. Which which David put together. <laughs> our channel logo, David put together on an iPad Pro. Super impressive. Yep. But it's always been the two of us, but given certain circumstances... Yeah, it was not up to me that I wasn't able to be as involved as I wanted to. Not up um, to me either at first. <laughs> I didn't, we kind of were on the I same boat. I was just yeah. in there for a little bit longer. Yeah. There was a certain job that I had, that we both had, yeah. that kind of prevented us from from uh, talk about tech yeah, at all, even if it was not something specific. I'm yeah. trying not to give too many details. Yeah, no, obviously we yeah. don't want to mention any companies or anything like that. Just, you know, that's that's not how we are. But for the for the sake of providing the information that we can provide, and I don't even know who's going to remember this because our channel, so long. I mean, yeah. our channel in the grand scheme of things is still relatively small. Like we're really close to 12,000, which is amazing. We've Excited. Like, yeah, thank we've, you. we've gained a bunch of yeah. subs recently. So thank you guys for that support. But, um, I think whenever we were at like a thousand subs or like 1100 <laughs> subs, yeah. no one's, no one could possibly remember this. Who's watching the channel right now, but, but yet there was a stretch where we stopped uploading videos for quite a bit. David and I were both working at the same company and they essentially informed me that, we had to stop making videos, um, which was a bummer. It's a conflict of interest. Yeah. Or so they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was called a conflict of interest. Um, again, we're not going to mention which company it was, but it was a conflict of interest. And they told me that if I don't stop making videos, I don't think at this point they knew like what your involvement was, if any. No, they knew it was some level because they asked you, but yeah. you kind of like... I just told him, I was like, yeah, you know what? Like I use the space to film. Right. No, right. no involvement or whatever. Low, low like, level at that point. Yeah. 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 So it just say that way for the last six years or no, <laughs> eight years. Yeah, yeah. A long time. However yeah. long it's been. I'm yeah. not that good at math, but yeah, cause you, you were able to leave soon after. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I was going to say is that it started with them basically saying, if you don't stop making the videos, then we're going to have to fire you, yeah. which I was like, Yikes. okay. And then on top of that, they also told me they were like, you also have to take all your videos down. Like it was. It was not like just stop. It was you have to completely, it's, yeah, it's completely wipe erased. this off yeah. the the existence of the earth. So, which good um, luck on the internet days. But yeah, yeah, nothing is ever permanently gone from yeah. the internet. Yeah. yeah. So we, what do we do? We we flipped every single video to private. 
I think we did. I think we put, we hit him. We didn't delete him. We made him. We made him hit him. Yeah. Like you couldn't. Like the only person who could actually see them was the owner of the channel. No right, one else. Right? right. So we were the only ones who could see them. We flipped all the videos to hidden at that point in time. Um, so I just I hung around and I wasn't like upset or anything. Like I still did my job really well and stuff like that. But right. then eventually got to a point where I found another job, which is where I've been at for some time now. Um, then we flipped the videos back to public once I left that company, and we waited until it was officially past my last day too. Like we didn't do it right when yeah. I put my two weeks no, in. We, we respected those yeah. terms. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. We waited until it was officially my last day. And then I left, we made the videos public again. David's involvement was minimal, if none at all. And then now David followed a similar path, got a new job. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah. You. And then as soon as we, uh, as soon as David got that new job, we decided to jump into this. Our, our subs are growing. Um, hopefully people are enjoying our content. So we went with, uh, we went with this for now. Yeah. David, I think is still in the process of making some moves. Might, we might we're change to make the it look at cool. this. Yeah. yeah. We're going to change the look at this as we, uh, as we kind of find our footing, but this is, uh, this is a temporary setup for now. I mean, I still, still think it looks good. Yeah. 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 No. And then honestly, I'm excited just because of the, the things that we've been wanting to do for years now. Yeah. And we've been, we haven't been able to. Yeah. So the fact that now we can truly make the videos how we want them and talk about the things that we want to do them, yeah. the style that we want to do them. Yeah. Um, we're not limited anymore. And I think that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, you know, I'm really, really glad and thankful for those that have been following us for the last few years. Yeah. But it only goes up from here. I think, I think the content that we're about to show and put out, is going to be very exciting and it's going to, it's going to put a brand to the, the things that we do. Yeah. It's, it's, we're trying to make it unique. We're trying to have fun. We, I mean, I think cause we started, I think so even, even more of a backstory we worked at the same job before that job before that other so job. that's how yep. we met yeah yeah we've been friends for when did almost you... 10 years it has to be 10 because uh, you probably I started 2015 start... oh so nine years yeah yeah, yeah. so we yeah. we've been friends for nine plus years now yeah. and we came up with the idea of starting the youtube channel two jobs ago yeah right and then we both went from that job to the other job which then restricted us from making the youtube videos now we both have separate jobs again. We don't work at the same company That'd anymore. Be funny. Yeah, but no, <laughs> no conflict of interest anymore. Yeah. But yeah, we we have been friends for like nine years, and we would always tell each other too. Like when David only had minimal involvement, we would always tell each other like, "Bro, if only we could record the conversations that we have, and like that would be it." Because I yeah. mean, it, like the tech space for YouTube is when you're making tech reviews, like there's only so much you can do. Right. 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 Like you can, you have to sit there and typically talk about the product and stuff like that. And, um, obviously like the tech space is dominated by great creators. Yeah. Really you know talented. I mean? really, like, yeah. Really like talented. they're, they're like, you guys already know too. And, and honestly, a, a lot of those, a lot of those top creators, like your unbox therapies, your MKBHDs, they, they were the, the inspiration behind us wanting to make tech reviews too. Cause we have a passion for tech too. Right. Um, but obviously, like, there are titans of, of that space on YouTube. Um, and, and we just wanted to do something a little different. Like, we're not, uh, you know, in terms of, like, production quality. A lot right. Of those, a lot of those channels One day, are... hopefully. Yeah, yeah. A lot of those channels are... Especially someone <clears throat> like MKBHD, right? The, the production quality is absolutely unmatched yeah. there. And he you know is I mean? he is gifted when it comes to those things. So yeah. it's one of those things that not only is it is it already taken by someone that does right. it really well, yeah. is... There's no need for it to be taken by someone else. He does it so well that you can you can leave that to that person, yeah. that that brand, yeah, and and it'll be fine. And if anything, I'm excited because he keeps innovating and, and doing great things and improving his his own techniques and, yeah. and own quality. No, for sure. Um, but you're you're right. Ultimately, what we wanted to do was was do our own unique thing, right? right like we right. wanted to we wanted to find a way to where we could still talk about the tech that we really like and enjoy. Um, but it would kind of be like our own unique spin on it. Right. It's like yeah. a different font. Same yeah. thing, different font. Yeah. So yeah. this is like the this is like our, our first attempt at, at hopefully many podcast episodes where we're gonna try we're gonna try something like that. Oh yeah. It'll be good. It'll crazy, be good. uh crazy backstory. Which the timing works because we have something to talk about. We have WWDC. Yeah. That, that just, just that just wrapped up, right? That was like five days. Yeah. That was like five days. And yeah. I was also in the middle of I I had a I had a wisdom tooth taken out this week. <laughs> I sent David a video. There might be a video. Yeah, I sent, <laughs> in my phone saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, holy cow, and I only got one tooth taken out. 
Yeah. I only got one two taken out. I was messed up. I actually didn't even know how well I would be able to talk, but the recovery's been going real That's fast. Awesome. That's yeah, good. recovery's been going real fast. So, because um, we haven't even so we intentionally didn't want to talk about it because we wanted to do that now. Yeah. Um, usually, when there's an event, we'll text back and forth or call or whatever. We'll it is. try to text during the actual. Yeah, and event. just kind of get yeah. our thoughts and and shock value whatever it is whatever you want to call it but wwdc was on the day that i got my tooth taken out right like well it was keynote? it was originally because it was monday that was the first day but okay. they got rescheduled oh it did well no no you're with some teeth appointment remember yes, yes. yeah 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 or were you too drunk to remember <laughs> i felt great man let me tell you i felt you're great. floating <laughs> I, I sent you that video whenever i was whenever i was in the car coming back home i wasn't driving someone else was driving me but um yeah yeah when i got home I was out. I fell asleep. Fell asleep That's for wild. fell asleep for a few hours. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool things got announced. Yeah. During during the event. Yeah. The one on Monday. Um, and honestly, I was looking forward to it because it's it's been, I think it's been a while since Apple has dropped something, so you can call it innovative, for a company that, that it's defined by innovation, um, because maybe they're not so much they're, lately. They're promising. But, a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they, maybe they, not. Maybe not so much defined by innovation lately, but but they're they're, still, they're coming yeah. back, which is why it's so exciting because yeah. you're seeing it again, and it kind of brings you that that excitement and and feeling of looking forward to something that's not even out yet. But um, they're promising on the promise on a lot of new things is it's good. Yeah, they they announced some great new software for iPhones, iPads, and Mac, um, and AI. Apple we all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like and i was I, that's okay so i'm glad you brought up the ai stuff because it's just such an apple move right oh, to yeah. be it's such an apple move to be years late to the party yeah and and don't get me wrong i love my apple products i have an ipad pro the, the m4 with me right now apple watch ultra my i have typically two phones on me at all times but the primary phone that i use is also an iphone so we love we love using no Apple hate. products. No right? hate. No hate. We, yeah. But like, I also love using Android products and you know all that all that fun stuff too. But typical Apple move, right? To be years late to something. Yeah. And then also there, it's just so. I don't want to say pretentious, but like. It, it's like they pretend that they. That they're, they're like they are the first. They're ones like, to do something listen, like that. Yeah. They're like, listen. We're we're bringing artificial intelligence, but. It's not artificial intelligence. It is Apple intelligence. Yeah. Like that is the most, that is the most Apple thing. I Which have, you know I what I saw? Seen. I actually saw this somewhere. You know how you know how there's a theory. And I don't know if you've seen this, but there's a theory that Disney made a movie called Frozen okay. because if you Google Disney Frozen, you get now the movie instead of the theory that actual Walt Disney is frozen right now or his head is. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I've heard the Walt Disney thing, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm still... so if, if before the movie, if you Google Disney Frozen, you would get the articles of the theories of like his head being frozen. And okay, ice. yeah, yeah. But now, if you Google it, you get the movie because they released them. Right. So now there's a theory that they're doing this because it's a marketing thing. If you change the name of AI to stand for something else, every time you look it up, you're gonna get Apple. So if they can market on the AI acronym, yeah. Anytime you Google, so like if you go to Google AI, artificial intelligence, you know it's not. Oh, if you type yeah, in right AI, now. not yeah. like artificial intelligence. Yeah, AI. Saying, no. Okay, yeah, AI. Like something AI. Yeah, Apple intelligence, and it'll come up with Apple intelligence. Yeah. Smart. They, now I mean, it, it, we'll see if it gets there. But yeah, they are they are marketing geniuses. Yeah, you remember yeah. the commercials Unless, a few years ago? What's a computer? Not all, not geniuses all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because those yeah yeah those those iPad Pros were not it. <laughs> But yeah, no, the artificial intelligence stuff, it looks, and it's all, I think I saw it was all driven by chat GPT, right? Uh, yes and no. Uh, the way I understand it is, is there's an integration into the OS that the AI is, which is interesting because we'll see what the, they're big on privacy, right? We, we've seen AI kind of invade some, some um, personal and private things before. Yeah, well, I mean, given the nature Right, and it, and it makes sense because it needs information for it to work. Like, look at look at Google's Gemini. It, it it's literally like a large language model that knows like everything. Yeah, and it I mean, and it works because of the reason all the why information it works it was is given. because it yeah. yeah. But when it comes to Apple, they're so big on privacy that they say that everything's happening local. All all the all which the... I think I to be fair I think like even Google's 
Pixel does that, right? Like with Gemini. Oh, they say. Nano, like, yeah. They, yeah. they say that. And to what know, extent? Who there's knows? There's dedicated hardware on the phone for processing that stuff. And, but I mean, but it Google's, it out. <laughs> Google's kind of, Google's whole entire business model is like they selling make data. profit by selling data. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's what I'm trying to get at because it's one of those things that they claim. And we've seen that. We've seen in some aspects that Apple is big on privacy. They have limited their their power for the sake of giving power to the customer and their data, which is why they can take extra time in some things in, in releasing an update or releasing a feature. They can charge a pretty penny for, for a product because not yeah. only they're selling the hardware, but they're also selling their 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 philosophy, their their business model i was right? gonna say the only place whenever it comes to apple where the consumer has no power is those price tags <laughs> yeah because they i mean yeah come on man you i mean you could you could spec out these new ipad pros for the cost of like a, a really MacBook nice Pro. well i mean even like when you look at the opposite competition like a gaming computer oh yeah that's right like that's right some mac some ipad i was about to say macbook pros some ipad pros you can spec out to like two thousand plus dollars two thousand plus dollars you can build <laughs> A gaming PC, yeah, right, like a, a, re really a really nice, nice one, yeah, yeah, a really nice one. Or you can have a very, very powerful, right? Because my, my yeah, because my thing is, is like if you're trying to do some work, depending on the work you do, you probably can do it better on a computer anyway. Yeah. So if you're needing that much power, the iPad Pros have been in a little bit. It's of a, a tricky spot. It, it, they've been in a little bit of a sticky spot yeah. for a few years now because they're like powerful enough to where they could be. They're powerful enough to where they can handle workflows like a MacBook, but they're just not the same utility of right. a MacBook. Especially with the M4. That's not even on a computer. That's not anymore. even on a yeah, computer it's, right yeah. now. Yeah. So it's it's crazy. But I mean, in even even with iPadOS um, that just got announced, they're still doing the same thing. They haven't done anything crazy to the point that it's becoming a computer. It's still a limited yeah. OS that looks like an iPhone, like a big iPhone. Yeah. So... I don't. I personally don't see them making the iPad be more like a computer. If anything, I see them do a Mac be more like an iPhone. Because uh, if, you, if you look at system preferences, if you look at settings, it used to be this customizable thing. Yeah, they changed thing. that like a couple of years ago. And I remember be, that. Now it looks like an it iPhone. It looks like an iPhone. You they, even go to like, don't you go to general and software update? Like yeah, the system? It's, yeah, it's the same thing. Just like an iPhone. Same thing, yeah. passcode, wall, wallpaper, everything. It looks yeah. like an iPhone. Yeah. So in, in a sense, I get it because you want to unify everything. You want to... You want it to be cohesive. Yeah. You want it to make sense. But at the same time, when I get a computer, when I'm using something that's supposed to have a bigger roof, big, bigger ceiling. Yeah. I don't, we're not feeling that. Even though the hardware is there, the software feels For the like Macs or the iPads? Well, for both. If they're, if they're dumbing down the Mac, it's going to get to the point that it's going to feel limited like yeah. an iPad. Yeah. And I, that's I not mean, good. I just hope that if they are going to, if they are going to kind of like water it down a little bit, that it's more so just like a UI thing and not like a functionality type I hope thing so. you know what i mean i hope so because yeah. they also did the the what's it called stage something stage manager yeah that you can have your windows on the left yeah because they did that on the ipad is it stage manager i think it is because it's, it's all like... it's also on the uh it's also on the ipad that's what i'm saying so like they're doing those things to make them look the same but that's not because they're making stage the manager. ipad yeah yeah they're not making the ipad more like a computer but they're yeah. making like the mac i just checked on the ipad it's stage manager yeah there yeah. you go so it, it's interesting i mean i'm excited big news iPad has some calculator app. I was just about, you know what? I was like, earlier you brought up innovation. Let's talk about innovation. We finally have a calculator app on the iPad Which, in 2024. To be fair. Innovation. To be Courage. fair. Courage. <laughs> Courage. Yeah. To be fair. That's what got him there. It's a really cool app. Yeah. What it does. I, I mean, love the math. Uh, well, go ahead. But I was going to yeah. say, I love the math notes thing. I was going to say. It's that's, almost like, that's they're like, why. look, we brought the calculator app for the iPad, but you're never going to have to use it because we also brought math notes. Yeah, for real. And you like, just use your pencil. You could have just brought that instead of the calculator app. Yeah. Because now I can just write down, which, you know, we were talking a couple weeks ago when we made the review for the iPad Pro. Remember I told you I don't want to buy an Apple pencil? Now I want to buy an Apple pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's like, you can actually like now I might no actually have a reason things, especially to use the it. notes app. Yeah. The, the improvements they made for the notes app. Yeah. All that is usually paid features Which, on paid apps. It's still ridiculous that I couldn't just take my pencil from my previous, the M2 oh, yeah. iPad pro and just start using it on this one because in, in a sense they're like you, well, for sure you have to buy a new one, but you have a choice. You can either downgrade to the one that charges via USB-C right and has less features overall yeah. even compared to your now three-year-old pencil that you've had or obviously you know you're gonna have to shell out in addition to 350 dollars for the computer or right. for the for the keyboard for the, yeah. and 1800 dollars for the ipad 
you're going to have to shell out an additional 130 for the Apple. Is it 130, 129, 129 right? Yeah, yeah, for the Apple Pencil Pro, yeah. which I am not artistic in any sense of the term. Like, I think I have Procreate on here, but if I use Procreate, it's going to be stick figures. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be anything hey, you want to play tic-tac-toe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So for you to tell me, like, yeah, I'm going to have to spend another 130 on the Apple Pencil Pro, which has, like, you know, all the, the really cool features that they brought, like pressure points and, like, you know. Yeah. The, I think the, it just doesn't work for me. It's, it's tough because if, if you think about it this way, if you have a pencil, you have an iPad, right? Yeah. If you upgrade your iPad, there's no option to upgrade your pencil without having to either throw it away or right. sell it because at that point you don't have an iPad. Yeah, you that can't it works trade with. it in. You yeah. can't trade in your pencil. So it's it's it puts you in this limbo of like you have this perfectly good piece of tech. Yeah. That works perfectly fine, and people can buy that for other products right now. So it's still being sold. It's not discontinued or anything. Yeah. But you're kind of forced to now either throw it away or give it to someone, sell it, whatever. Yeah. For you to be able to use the replacement that and and it worked for the other accessory too. Like in terms of like if you buy the M4 iPad, you can't use your old keyboards either. Like you, if you got the Magic yeah. keyboards, you can't use those. Which even if, if you got the same screen size. Yeah, it's tough because so that one. I mean, I I can give it to them if it's something because of the shape, because yeah. it's now thinner and the camera's different and things like that. But even then, can they not make a shape of a keyboard or or a a, a base? Excuse for the magnetic back of the keyboard so it fits regardless of the thickness, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like or at it, the very least, like, can you at least initiate for like your loyal iPad Pro customers, can you at least like initiate some sort of like trade-in or upgrade yeah. and discount program where yeah. it's like, all right, give us your old Magic Keyboard and we'll give you a hundred bucks towards Something. your new one. Cause I spent three, no, how much is it for the 13 inch, the Magic Keyboard? 400, is it 399? It's probably, yeah, it's either that or-, or I spent 399 plus tax, yeah. right? I think, because I just spent 349 on the 11 inch one. Has to be more than 400. Right. I can't remember, but I think so. So it's probably 399, I might be off, but mm -hmm. either way, you're out at least 350 yeah. plus tax, Yeah. right? That keyboard now is collecting dust because I got rid of my old iPad Pro. <laughs> So what and and so is Same, my pencil. Yeah. So is my old pencil. My old pencil is collecting dust too. Keyboard and pencil. That that is yeah. like close to five hundred dollars worth of accessories that I had purchased a few years ago that are just doing absolutely nothing now. Yeah. I mean, I could try to sell them, but yeah, that's why people like trade-in programs to begin with. No hassle. Is obviously, yeah. yeah, you get reduced value, of right. course. Right. But it's just no hassle. You give it to the yeah. manufacturer. They they give you money or whatever. There's no back and forth or. I've had pretty bad experiences, like selling products that we've reviewed. Mm -hmm. I would sell them on eBay. I don't know if you remember the, which OnePlus was it? The McLaren edition that we had? Oh, remember I that remember one? that one. Like, yeah. yeah. I sold it to somebody on eBay and then the buyer came back and was like, oh yeah, no, like this isn't the model number that I was expecting. And I was like, okay, but like I listed the correct model number in my listing. Right. And then he was like, yeah, but I was looking to purchase this one or whatever. And I was like, okay, but I don't really know. Sounds like think, your yeah, problem, bro. It yeah. doesn't sound like it's my fault. And yeah. eBay still was like, nope, you have to take this back. And I'm like, bro, what happens if my man sends me like a brick right. in the mail? You yeah. know what I mean? And I and I still, and you guys already processed this refund and stuff like that. So that's why trade-ins are just better. Yeah. It's off your hands and you get your money. Yeah. And you can even apply directly so you don't have to wait for payments in three yeah. to five business days for anything. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. But going back to calculator. I'm excited. <laughs> I think that's great, man. Of course, they release something like this. We're not in school anymore because yeah. that would have been perfect. So it's one of those things that I think I'm okay with the the fact that they're taking forever to release the app for the iPad now with this new feature because they can excuse it in the sense that they're not only doing what people have wanted, but they've done more than that. I kind of so, feel like they had to at this point. Like oh, it would have been they funny like, if they released like imagine the notes app. it would have yeah. been such a meme if they would have just been like, all right, guys, after like eight years of you guys asking, you just have a gigantic calculator app on your iPad yeah. now. You know what I mean? It's See, and that's here. probably what they. I I think that's the logistics behind it. Now, the why they never had one in the first place. Who knows? That, yeah, it makes no sense. I it's, think it's something well, so Apple simple. Just does, Apple does whatever they want. Yeah, and it's right. and it's weird for some of their decision making, but it is what it is. Now, notes. Also got an improvement, which is really exciting. Okay. We talked about this for a yeah. second. But but notes, I use Notability on my iPad, and I take notes every every week. Oh, so um, you don't even use the native Note I don't. Note app. But now, okay. there's a big chance I'm going to start using it just because of the handwriting features. And the fact that I think the one feature that I really liked is the fact that it can learn your handwriting. So if you type something. I did see that like in the 
in the math notes section where if you write, it generates the answer in your handwriting. So similar. Yeah. But in this case, so let's say that you're, you're writing something and then you want to make an edit and you want to go back and make an edit. You yeah. can, you can like type it and it fills it in with your handwriting. Or if you copy a text from a different source and you paste it on your note, you can paste it as your handwriting. Yeah. I think that's really cool. That's so one wild. of the things, kind one of, of the things, it is, it yeah. is very scary. You can yeah. tamper anything at this point. Yeah. But what I think is really cool is for me, I don't know why, but it just could be a preference. I love seeing my handwriting. So I don't like when I'm taking notes, I don't like mixing my handwriting with text that's typed. Yeah. So now that I'm able to do that and I don't pay for Notability Plus or whatever it's called, I'm probably going to switch to the notes app. What do you do if you just have like trash handwriting? Like if you just have like doctor... <laughs> That's actually, you know what? That's that's, that's where ChatGPT comes in. And that's really. <laughs> that's something I like about um, the the Galaxy phones. Like I I still have the S twenty four Ultra. My right. second SIM card is in that phone. Great. Whenever you write down notes with that one, and you have the option to like uh, basically change the look of it, it basically right. makes it look really nice for you. You know what I mean? Like so you it could, does. I, I think could it, yeah, you yeah. can jot something down, and if your handwriting's trash, yeah. They're like, don't worry, man, we got you. And like, it yeah. looks all nice, yeah. cursive, neat. If I'm not mistaken, mean? it'll do that too. So yeah. it's, it's really exciting. I think, I think those are good changes. I'll take them. One downside for, cause, and I can't remember, but I think that's AI. I think, I think part yeah. of that has to, to analyze be, your yeah. handwriting and, yeah. and spit it back out as your handwriting. That has to be AI. But then that brings me to my, my thing that they're only releasing uh, Apple intelligence for M1s and up. And iPhone 15 Pros. Not the, not the 15. Not the 15. No base model iPhone. Not the 14 Pro. Just the 15 Pros and 15 Pro Maxes. And the upcoming 16 Pros. I'm right, assuming. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if so, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. If Apple's feature history to their devices has anything to say about it, by the time the 17s roll around, the base model 17s will have Apple intelligence too. Yeah. It's always yeah. been like that. Or. Look if, at the pro they, camera system we brought on the 13 Pro, and right. then next year's base 14 gets those cameras from the 13 right. Pro, and the 14 Pro gets the upgraded. Which it could system. be. It could be. Think about it this way: it wouldn't. It wouldn't have to be the 17. It could be the 16, the iPhone 16. Maybe because if they if the 16 has the chip of the 15 Pro, that's all they need. Yeah, and they could. It just seems a little soon. Might be too generous of them. Yeah, too generous of them. Yeah, yeah. That sucks, but you're right. And right. I mean, let's say they let's say they do limit it to the 16 Pro that's going to come out in the fall. Right. You know, you already know that's going to drive up demand of the the 16 Pro. Which which phone was it that like was it the 14 or like the 13 Pro or something like that where like more and more customers favored the Pro model even if they didn't necessarily. I can't remember. I, I can't thought remember. it was the 14 Pro. And it could be. I hated my 14 Pro. The color was dope, though. I love the, the deep color. The purple. That I, deep purple was so. <laughs> purple's my that favorite. Deep purple I think was you know sick, this. man. We purple's both, my we favorite both color. had it. Yeah. Did you get the? Did you get the? I got regular the pro. fourteen yeah, pro, or did pro. you get the pro max? No, I, I got the pro. I always, I, yeah. My battery life has been abysmal these last couple of years. I can't even imagine if I didn't have the pro max Dude, with the larger battery. As soon as I had that phone, I love the color. And as soon as I got it announced, I was like, I'm getting the purple. The purple, yeah. <laughs> but but I think it was only like a few weeks in. I was like, man. This is trash. I can't wait for the fifteen. That, that is trash. <laughs> yeah, especially it because. It was so sad. Well, you know what, and and you know what it was the the thirteen Pro set such a high precedent for battery life. Thirteen my Pro was 13 such a Pro, well stable phone. Yeah, thirteen yeah. Pro was a great phone. The light blue was dope. Yeah, can't remember it the was actual clean. whatever Pacific blue or whatever it was yeah, actually the name called. They, they called it. Yeah. Um, but the battery life on the thirteen Pro was. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. One of the best iPhones in terms of battery life yeah. I've seen in a very, very long time. Very, Man. very long time. 14 came out and I was like, this is trash. And then 15 came out. I'm using the 15 Pro Max right now. And I'm like, this is okay. just slightly <laughs> less trash. <laughs> it's my, a good phone. It's, it's a good so phone. bad. Let me, let me I'm, tra there. I'm charging my 15 Pro Max every day now. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. Me too. And for a Max, it's shouldn't be like that, but... I don't know, man. It's it's one of those things that they, I think they're they're improving in the wrong areas, which it happened back in I think was it iOS twelve or thirteen, back when the whole like battery throttling was happening and things like that. They came up with that one update that it was like, hey, we're not gonna do features, we're just gonna make it stable. Yeah. 
we need that again. What was that like? Fourteen? iOS fourteen? Or was I that think it was like iOS twelve or something like that? No, I'm yeah. saying like the the iOS that came out afterwards, where they focused just on stability. Was that thirteen? That was the stability release, or was that fourteen? It might have been. Okay, it might have been the thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. IOS we need 13. something like that again. Yeah. With some like serious. I mean, we're at eighteen now. Serious battery optimizations. Yeah. Serious. It's in plenty of time. Yeah. But, but so so they're gonna do they're gonna do Apple intelligence on it sounds like Apple Silicon devices and then fifteen pros the Pro which models. is a seventeen chip I think if I'm not mistaken okay yeah interesting yeah I mean Apple Silicon's been around for such a long time now I would imagine yeah I'm sure not everybody is off Intel I was but, gonna say computers I'm not really scared yeah uh, iPads maybe because you know you might have some people that have the the old Air that didn't have an M1 yeah. or just a base model iPad. That Honestly, have even if M2. you just have an M1, the M1 was so good. Yeah. The M the M1 Max that I had in my MacBook Pro before I just bought the the M3. Right. The M1 Max even to this day is so so good. Like right. the difference between Intel to M1 Max was so gigantic that every single iteration from their M1, M2, M3, those leaps were significantly smaller. Right. right. Yeah. That that M1 Max yeah. is a monster. That's true. Just being an M1 is it's you're going to be fine. Unless yeah. you do some crazy work, but generally you're probably going to be fine. Yeah. Especially with an Air, a MacBook Air if you do school work or just basic emails, I text love document. That, yeah. That dark blue, the midnight blue. Oh, the M2? the M2? Yeah. Yeah. The M2 MacBook yeah. Air and the midnight that computer. Yeah. It just it makes you feel a type of way whenever you it use is, it. It you know is. I, I, mean? I mean, dude, I I couldn't excuse it because I have a I have a pro. Yeah. But if I didn't have a MacBook, I would have gone the M2. Well, I mean, we're we're doing, and we need the power. 4K video editing. But even and, then, for like a personal. Yeah. I would have loved to have a MacBook Air, the M2 one. That's I mean that'd be super. Imagine you're like I'm gonna step away from my M3 MacBook Pro and just pick up my M2 MacBook Air and go. <laughs> That's, and why, I some, one, okay? That's why I didn't get one. Okay. That's why I didn't get one. Basic <laughs> basic work done at a coffee shop or something like that. Yeah, you don't want to flex and bring it out to everywhere. So that's why you get the MacBook Air <laughs> as your backup. But where but. they killed it with the M3s, where they killed it with the M3s was the, the space black. I was I was so excited yeah. for that color. Yeah. So superficial given how powerful the machine is. But obviously, like, we utilize the power too. It's right, just, yeah. We do we do need that. Yeah. But but no, it was it was nice. And they brought in the new Mac OS too. Uh, Sequoia? Yeah. You yeah. You know what I was hoping for? What? Hi Sonoma. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to tell you that Hi joke for Sonoma. the whole week, dude. <laughs> Cause they did that one time. I can't I can't keep up with all the names anymore, but I can keep up with Mac OS Sequoia because my dad drives a TRD Pro Sequoia. Oh, Toyota Sequoia. That, yeah, you'll remember. So now. I'm just like yeah. Mac OS Sequoia, that's perfect. Like what are we on right now? Ventura? Yeah. Or uh, no, Sonoma is the latest one. Sonoma? Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. I, I'm still thinking Ventura was the previous one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. between obviously like I utilize <laughs> for my eight to five, like for my career job, I utilize a MacBook Pro. Right. Pretty right. sure we're also on Sonoma. I'm I'm fairly certain we're on At Sonoma. At this point, it's almost been a year since it came but out. But there's something so. about Ventura where I'm like, that's such a cool name. They should just keep yeah, that one. Yeah, and the purple bit. background, man. Yeah. I love the purple. I'm yeah. telling you. So between that, obviously personal MacBook, and then you like we try to stay up to date with all the stuff, even though we both work. You know, right. Monday through Friday every single yeah. week, but it's just like, that's yeah. Mac OS Sequoia. Yeah, and I can I can support that. That's yeah. easy to remember because it brought in some cool changes. I think I think the one that I'm excited about is the the fact that you can now show your phone on the computer. The phone, the iPhone which, mirroring or whatever. It's not a new thing for other products. I know. Yeah, I know it's not a new thing in general, but it's cool. <laughs> you have to. You I have just to want to stop them that. before they say yeah. something. You have to reiterate that yeah. with every single yeah. Apple feature that comes out. Yeah. But we know We've it's going to be stable. We've seen this before. Yeah, right. Yeah. We, we know it's going to be stable. I like the fact that you can control your phone with your computer so you can move your mouse and like do sliding and opening apps and things like that. Yeah. So you can put your phone away. You can have your phone on nightstand and have it as a clock and kind of be on the side and, and still like do stuff on show your phone. something different. You're gonna Is it going to be like full phone capability? Like if I want to launch an app on the phone, I can do that on my Mac and mm -hmm. it refreshes. And like yep. let's say you want to launch like Instagram or like Twitter X or whatever everyone's right. calling it nowadays yeah. you can open those apps mm -hmm. right and then it'll refresh your feed and you can do yeah, it yeah it's like a, it's like you're using your phone that's yeah. wild so that's really cool yeah. i don't know i don't think they're they're integrating that with with vision os which they should have vision os got some nice upgrades too which one's your favorite one because you know which one's mine i like the um i like the fact that you can add some like space and depth to your photos now oh like make them 
Which like, I think that's a yeah again. Yeah. I think that's yeah. I mean, they're... not that I. I'm still not gonna buy one. <laughs> we couldn't return. It. <laughs> huh? <laughs> we couldn't return it. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that's that's really cool. It's just a lot of dude, money, and that's man. the thing because we've tried it. We we tested the the Vision Pro. There's something different in in taking a special video or photo with your phone versus the the Vision camera. Yeah. Um, and it makes sense because it's not the iPhone's camera. It's not designed for for 3D pictures and videos. Yeah. So it'll do what it can with with what it has. But it doesn't come close to watching a video that you recorded with the Vision Pro. Those yeah. videos, it could you feel like you could put your hand through the image and actually feel because I recorded my dog, remember? Yes. So my, my dog was in front of me in the video. I had my vision pro. The thing was looking at me like, bro, why are you so weird? And I'm like, yeah. I'm filming you right now. You, yeah. When you <laughs> so, have that thing on, you look like it looks funny. You look like a freak when you have that thing on your head. But but I took the video Not and just you, like I'm saying in general. No, in general, yeah, 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 thank you, thank you. Yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Of course, yeah. <laughs> but I was watching the video and and it I felt like I was there again, even though I knew that that it was a video and i was just playing it i i wanted to reach out and, and pet my dog you that's know? the idea so it enhances the, the memories yeah. yeah and it's and it's crazy because you can do some really cool things with that yeah now i'm hoping here's the one thing i'm hoping because the technology with iphones is not there yet when it comes to recording spatial videos not even close to the vision pro with the 16 if they manage to separate the camera so there's enough depth or, or there enough space to create more depth in the pictures and videos to make them more spatial. Yeah, that would be cool because right now the one thing that is not going to happen is you're not going to see people with the Vision Pro go out and start recording and taking pictures to create memories. You do that with a phone. That we, just, I mean, we had like a three week period where people were doing that. People are in their cars, Tesla self driving, yeah. and they're just. I think people grew up bopping away in the car. It's you know a phase I mean? mom. Just gra- yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, just so. yeah, horrifying. But if they do that with the 16, that opens up the door for people to start doing that. And yeah. they can even do that. Think about it this way. I'm not planning on buying a Vision Pro soon. I'm assuming you're not the same way. Nope. That's majority of the, the, the... I got a mortgage, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it, there's so many people out there that are in the same space, yeah. the same boat. Yeah. So we're not. I'm not going to go... Because you can do that right now, right? You can go to your phone and you can go and select spatial and you can take a picture or video that's spatial video. Yeah. It's... Unless you have a Vision Pro, there's no reason for you to do that. Yeah. But if with the 16, they do that, that it takes a picture on spatial photo and video regardless whether you activate it or not. Yeah. Then once the Vision Pro is accessible and more affordable and everyone has one, then you're going to go back to those pictures you took with your 16 once we're on the iPhone 20. Yeah. Be like, oh, man, I'm Mm -hmm. glad I had that phone. iPhone 20. Or... Whatever XX. they're gonna call it at that point in time, <laughs> yeah. yeah. iPhone Dos double X. X. <laughs> yeah, iPhone double X or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think that could be a smart move. Now, when it comes to storage and things like that, who knows? Uh, there's so many logistics that yeah. uh, they have to account for. Yeah. But well, what was your favorite feature then? Uh, I'm guessing it's Dude, not the photos. No, it's it's the fact that you can now do full surround on a Mac when you when you put the double four K monitors. Yeah. Like yeah. the biggest thing that was so annoying when I tested the, the Vision Pro is that okay, you ha- you can have your Vision Pro and connect it to your computer. Yeah. So you can work on your computer remotely, right? On your Vision Pro. Yeah. But the screen is the same screen. You can just make it bigger. You're not making it wider. You're not creating more space. You're just you're just increasing the size. Yeah. But now you can have that three or I think it's one eighty panoramic. It's yeah, it's like view. a full yeah, yeah. It's immersive. It's like a curved monitor at yeah, that point. Immersive yeah, immersive view. Yeah, that's really cool because yeah. now it actually excuses to be like it, it gives you a reason for you to be like, oh, let me use my Vision Pro to work on this one project on my computer. Before it was more of like I want to lay down and kind of look up and have that screen up there. It, it's not really a reason. It's cool, yeah. but it's, it's it's more a gimmick. It's a much point. more yeah. like sophisticated now way to actually, yeah. yeah, it's actually something that you can benefit from. It's still um, like just so like how much would two four K monitors cost you? It depends on the brand. It depends on the on the refresh rate. But it's one of those things. I mean, now you can probably find one for like three hundred, four hundred. Depends on the size too, you know. Yeah, you can so, literally buy like eight of them. Yeah. Now the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously you obviously can't run eight. Yeah. Right. Like with the MacBook, but you yeah. can you can buy three. Right. And, and you can probably be eleven hundred in the hole. Oh yeah, yeah. Or you can definitely you can, if, spend if you 4, budget for work. You can budget getting multiple monitors, twenty seven, thirty two inch. Unless you can do the. I would Apple much rather just display. like I'll buy two four K physical monitors, two physical four K monitors, and then 
with the leftover buy all the nice Apple yeah. Magic keyboard and I don't yeah. want to say the Magic Mouse is that great of a product, but maybe like the trackpad. Yeah, something like that. That yeah. makes sense. In the yeah. space black and just yeah. put together like a real sharp. Like a cool setup at that point. Yeah, get yeah. one of those uh, like those stands that like props your laptop yeah. up on your desk instead of the laptop being yeah. in front of you. Yeah. And that way you save like 2500 bucks. And you still <laughs> you can still pay your mortgage at the end yeah. of the month. You know what I mean? It's great. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. It's the fact that it's not affordable. <clears throat> I mean, I told you my experience with the Vision Pro. Yeah. I, I wore it for like three hours straight and I took him off and my brain was so immersed, which is a good thing. I think that's what they're aiming for. But my brain was so immersed. You're like that, fatigued, right? Well, it, I, I still wanted to pull like the menu. Oh and things like that. yeah, yeah. I so, remember you telling me that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm. You're like, I came out of it and I'm still like pinching and trying to grab stuff. Yeah, and it was trippy because yeah. I don't like that. I mean, it's cool because it's, it's, it, it shows how accurate the the sensors are, how aware of your surroundings you are. That yeah. your brain is tricked to thinking that you can do that at any time, even yeah. if you're not wearing the vision. No, I remember belt. whenever we were we were going through the setup process, like for the review and everything, or like our initial impressions. Right. I remember when you put it on and it has to calibrate for your eyes. It yeah. asks you to look at the dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's scary. Yeah. Like it's like you just look up and it immediately which, highlights that top. It's the eye tracking is horrifyingly accurate on it. Which now you can do it on the phone. Yeah with accessibility yeah so it's it's crazy because it's technology that's been there and now they're just perfecting it at that point yeah know? so it, and that I was think, a first gen like it obviously yeah vision pro can be improved in a lot of ways but the one i never stopped using the vision pro and thought to myself like the eye tracking and hand tracking is trash like it was right really right really good yeah. yeah i think i even said that in my review that that was one of my favorite aspects of using it the i eye think it's what differentiates the vision pro from another headset um, just because of not only the not only the eye tracking that's like a new thing, but also the hand tracking because you know even the Meta Three right the Meta Quest you have the, you the have, physical if you don't want to use a controller which helps the tracking right yeah, and but, it makes sense but if you don't want to use them there's still an ability for you to use your hands only right but even then it's not even close to how accurate the Vision Pro is yeah um, the Meta Quest Three was a lot of fun it was fun that I was mean fun. it's a cool gadget I think yeah. for the price that one I, I can excuse that, like that that price is a and lot and you can even complain for yeah. the like when it misses the accuracy or something like that because yeah. you're not paying crazy money for that you know yeah so I think I think when it comes to the accuracy I think that's where that's where the Vision Pro kind of it perfected it and yeah. it goes back to the same thing like Apple's not the first one to do something like this because we, we've seen computational uh mixed reality with the the google glass the the quest all the vr headsets that we've seen um but if if they're able to kind of craft that into one a lighter module but also somehow make it cheaper we talked about this too yeah remember like we, yeah. we were like okay they're starting off with like the pro right so what happens if they later on down the line, they're like, okay, well, we understand the Vision Pro is not necessarily financially, I don't even want to say acceptable. I, I'm just going to say responsible, right? Like right, you're right. spending $3,500 yeah, on actually a first gen product. Like, like yeah. you definitely at that point in time, money's probably, you don't care too much about money right. at that point in time, right? right. For right. the for the vast majority of people out there, it's probably not the smartest purchase. You know what I mean? You can do yeah. a lot more with $3,500, yep. right? So... What happens when they're like, okay, we understand that that $3,500 price tag is not for everybody. It's very niche. Right. But instead of a Vision Pro, we have a regular Vision. Right. Might be a little scaled down. Right. But it's $1,500. Yeah. Even then, I'm just like, holy cow, man, $1,500? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what Which you can do with that? I feel like a lot more people would use it. But what are you sacrificing at that point? You know, yeah. one of the things that make the Vision Pro stand out and be so unique is the quality of the screens. Yeah. And the accuracy of the sensors. You take those out, yeah, you can make it cheaper, but that kind of defeats the purpose. No one's going to want to use it anymore. Yeah. So we'll see. I think I think it's cool to see what journey they, they're planning on. Um, but until then, you know, we can only speculate, you know? Yeah. So now the one thing that's really cool is when it comes to the, the whole revamp of Siri with Apple Intelligence. Yeah. I was just about to say. They, I, need to, they I are... need to make a statement before we start. Siri sucks. Oh, yeah. Uh, now we can talk. Uh, easily. <laughs> easily the worst. Yeah, like, we love Apple, but assistant, we're not that yeah, delusional. Yeah. You know what I mean? Easily the worst assistant. I still much prefer... I have I have much preferred Google Assistant for years now. And right. now that you have even Gemini on, like, Pixel right, phones and right. stuff like that, yeah. give me that all day yeah. long. All day long. I love be, asking Gemini questions. It's going to be interesting because it's one of those things that I'm excited because they... 
it's it's been years since they made a major upgrade for Siri. Because even if when they did say that it was an upgrade, it really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Siri hasn't been an upgrade since it came out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, we're not talking to you. Yeah, yeah. It triggered on my phone. I'm yeah. sure you I'm guys probably saw that coming. I'm glad the mine is not triggered yeah. yet. All right. Y'all probably saw that coming. But point is, is it's one of those things that I'm, I, I'm skeptical. Yeah. And I don't want to be because I want to be excited for Siri. And I want to... I want it to be what they're claiming it to, to be or once it comes out. But, dude, my biggest fear, you know how right now you go to Siri and you ask a really complex question. It's like searching on the web. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm afraid that every time we ask something like that, it's yeah. going to be like, couldn't find an answer. You want to use chat GPT? Yeah. It's the same thing. I think yeah. instead, of, instead of making Siri smarter, now it's going to have more tools to use. But even then, it's not Siri itself. So I'm afraid that even though they're promising it to be this new generation of, of an assistant, it's still going to be limited by Siri itself. They're going to have to bridge the gap, right? So yeah. like you go right now, like on, I still have my Pixel 8 Pro. Right. So on my Pixel 8 Pro, you go on there and you ask Gemini a question and it just spits out the answer for right. you. They're going to have to turn Siri into the same thing. Like they whenever you be, ask it, yeah. nope, 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 nope. We're I not need, talking to you. I need to turn that off. Yeah. The, Face so it like, down basically whenever you ask it a question it's going to have yeah. to just even if it takes up half or almost all your screen because it's spitting out an answer it's just right. going to have to use chat gpt and just spit out the answer yeah the chat gpt yeah. would provide in order for it to actually you know be useful yeah yeah i think i mean if it just like defaults or if it redirects you to something else you're yeah. just a like you're just a middleman assistant at that right. point in time so hopefully it's just going to spit out an answer using chat gpt integration yeah without because you know what's cool is that they said that if you don't have so it's it's going to be powered by gpt 4.0 right, right? 4.0 whatever the version, whatever it's yeah. called but i saw in the keynote that if even if you don't have an account with them you can still use it as a guest and yeah right none of the none of the things that you ask are actually stored right it's simply just information processing and it gets back to you mm -hmm. but then it's like if you have an account or if you have mm -hmm. a subscription with them then you can log into your account and enjoy all those benefits still. right Right. So hopefully, you know, I mean, maybe if if you have a paid account that it is, it is integrated and it, it's not going to ask you to use GPT, it's going to just use it. I hope it even if you to. have a guest account, it's it's integrated. But hopefully it should be an option because I think some people are concerned when it comes to privacy, when it comes to using the AI that's not Apple. Yeah. On their personal data, because the whole thing of Siri is that hey, now it's reading all your text and looking at all your pictures and looking at all yeah. your schedule. But I mean, just like just like every other company says, though, they say that all that's stored on the iPhone itself, right? And it's not going to be, yeah. you know. And I think I even saw something on there too, where like you can use third party like code verification processes or whatever to to check how secure your data actually is. Like you can check the code yeah. and, and to make sure that you know they're they're keeping up with the. Yeah. But I mean, it was something like. And I'm sure they'll give you the option to disable it if you don't want to use it. I would I, imagine yeah, somewhere I, in the settings. Because if not, there's going to be a lot of people not upgrading. But with something like artificial yeah. intelligence, there is a certain level of intrusiveness right. to that type of product. Because if you want to be able to have an assistant on your phone where you ask it like, oh, hey, uh, this calendar event just got rescheduled. Is this going to conflict with my travel time for my other calendar event? Like, of course it has to have access right. to that data right. in order to provide you with that answer. Right. You know what I mean? Like every time someone talks about AI, I immediately, because you know, we're, we're all nerds here, but I immediately right. default to Jarvis from Iron Man. Yeah. Jarvis knew every aspect of Tony Stark. Right. Right. They're right. like Tony Stark had no privacy from Jarvis. Yeah. They, they even had like jokes in the movies about it too. Like he would go down to the shop and work and then Jarvis would be like, Oh, you're working late tonight, sir. And he'd be like, Oh, yeah. you're just following me everywhere or whatever. Like yeah. that's, that's just true. how it works. Yeah. You know what I mean? So hopefully I, I do, think that apple does a better job compared to a lot of other companies in terms of like terms of terms of privacy yeah that yeah. makes sense that makes sense yeah but we'll see uh we'll see once it actually comes out we'll see once once it drops and comes out in the fall yeah but i'm really excited yeah no i thought it was i thought it was pretty cool too and i think um i'm i i haven't done betas in a while but i probably will i probably will even jump on the public beta myself too I'm especially because i think now there's it's like better in the settings in terms of like being able to manage the betas, right? In terms of yeah, before you, you had can, to install the profile and then right. I think there was even like a factory reset involved. Now yeah. I don't think there is, right? Yeah, no, you can go back and so when you go to the software update, there's you a can just turn it off. Enable right? or disable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so perfect. we'll give it a shot. We'll put we'll put some content out for sure. Um yeah. but I think I mean 
I think we talk, I think we did it. Yeah, we've been we've been talking for <laughs> almost an hour. This was a this is a lot of fun. Yeah, I really like this, and I mean, hopefully, you guys yeah. watching, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this as well. Um, like we both said, we're gonna we're gonna try to pick up this type of content for a lot of our stuff, whether it's reviews or whether it's events that happen, maybe even like tech news and stuff like that. We're gonna see what kind of direction we can take this content in, but we are really excited. Um, and again, the support has been the support has been pretty crazy. We're okay. just shy of like twelve thousand subs. Hopefully, we'll break that soon. Um, if you're watching and you support and you subscribe, thank you so much. Really, it, it does yeah, mean everything in the world to us too. And yeah, um, and of course, if, if there's any any advice or any thoughts on on this kind of content, exactly, please let us know. Yeah, if there's anything that you want us to talk about, or if there's anything that you know you want to see, or, or you know you want us to kind of cover, let us know. The right. comments were open. This is obviously a new direction for the channel, so we're really open to any and all types of feedback. Yeah. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. This was episode one of the Tech Bros podcast. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll see you again here. It shortly. only goes up from here. We're excited. Yeah. All right, guys. Later. Peace. And so hopefully, I I do think that Apple does a better job compared to a lot of other companies in terms of like. Terms of, terms of privacy. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense.